Yeah, come in. Just sit down here. Right. You shat on the teacher's desk. I did, I did do that. Now, Jamston, what do you expect me to say? I, I didn't have you in mind when I was taking the poo. Put yourself in my position. Yep. Your student does a poo on his teacher's desk. Mm. What else can you do but expel them? It is a tricky one. I see that. You're a good student, but my hands are tied. You took a poo on the teacher's desk. Look, Prince. Principal McLaughlin. Principal McLaughlin. I did a poo on the teacher's desk. Yes. That's what I did. You know, we can't take it back. It's done. It's happened. Mm hmm. What we can do is look at how we move forward to a better future. It's not how we act, but how we react. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I don't want to expel you. You're one of our best students. Well then don't. Don't do that. You did a poo on Mr. Johnson's desk. Yes. Do you, do you see how we're going in circles here? Okay, look at it like this. If I hadn't done the poo, we wouldn't be here right now. Right. Oh, that's all you, that's all you got? Yeah. Alright, I can, I can see one solution. Lay it on me. It's gonna sound rough, but I think it's fair. I'm all ears. I think the only way to go forward here is for you to let Mr. Johnson take a dump in your locker. I'm hearing you. I hear that. What are your thoughts? I'm just worried that through that action, some back and forth warfare will commence between me and Mr. Johnson. Oh, I didn't think of that. And I don't want to shit in his shower. But if things take that turn, you know, I've got to do what i got to do. That is a valid point. That is a valid point. How about this? We fire Mr. Johnson. What? He let a student shit on his desk. He doesn't have control of his class. He doesn't, does he? That's pretty clear after these events. Mr. Johnson goes away. Our problems go away. You know, for a boy that has just taken a poo on his teacher's desk, you're very clever. They don't call me the poo professor for nothing. Alright, I'm gonna make a call. You get back to class. I don't want you to miss out on any more learning today. Of course not. You have a good one, Principal McLaughlin? Yes, hi. Clinton Johnson? How are you going? Yeah, I've got some bad news. For you. Then I asked to have you read the paper. Okay, people talking. About this video was sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community to help you explore new skills and grow those deep lying passions you've been sitting on for years. They have classes in all things creative like animation, design, illustration, photo and film, editing, and business. Speaking of business, are you running a side hustle? Getting a bit of extra cash through the door? You gotta get your books in order. Bookkeeping for Freelancers by Emily Simcox is a short 38 minute class to teach you how to handle your finances. Skillshare doesn't have any ads to interrupt your learning and on an annual subscription, it's less than $10 a month. So, if you wanna take a shot, take a class, learn about business, creativity, First 1,000 people to click the link in the description below this video, get a free trial of a premium membership. See you later.